everybody and welcome to Clear Path Guidance and Tarot. This is your monthly love reading for the sign of Leo for the month of December. I'm using the Gilded Tarot this month and I'm going to have one card follow from Doreen Virtues Romance Angels and my Moonology deck. Uh, if you are new to my channel, a little bit about my channel. I do these readings monthly. They are general readings. It is not meant for every Leo out there. If the reading resonates with you, that's great. If it doesn't, you can always purchase a private reading from me. My email will be at the bottom of the video. And um, I will get back to you within 24 hours. And my reading turnaround time is less than five days. Okay. A little bit about myself. I'm a clairsentient and a clairvoyant. Which means that I can feel what other people feel. I read people. That's where I shine. That's where I do my best work. I can pick up energies, feelings, vibes, emotions from you or the person that um, you are inquiring about. That's how I do my readings. I'm usually, I'm about 90% accurate. If you would like to read some of my testimonials, go to the community tab and you will see the testimonials there of um, all the different readings I've done. That's just a very small amount. I've done thousands and thousands, but I started to put uh, testimonials on there only because people are asking. I don't have a website. All I have is a YouTube channel and um, an email address. Nothing fancy here. Okay, so uh, the way I do my readings is I shuffle till one card falls out. Those are clarity cards and jumpers. If more than one card falls out, I put it back in the deck and shuffle till the one card falls out. What are the energies for Leo for the month of December? So, I mean, I'm, the energies I'm picking up with you, Leos, right now is that I feel like you're going faster, like your mind is going quickly. You guys want the energies to speed up to the same speed as your thoughts. It's like, it's like your, your, Legs are like your legs are not going fast enough for what is going on, and it's like you really want something to happen. I believe that this is in um, love. It's like you guys want things to pick up really quickly. It's like you want it now, and it's not in your control. So it's like you want to hurry a process up, like really, really quickly here. So let's see what the cards say. What are the messages for Leo for December? What is the message for Leo? What is the message for Leo? All right. Ten of Pentacles. What is the message for Leo? What is the message for Leo? The moon. What is the message for Leo? Ace of Pentacles. What is the message for Leo? What are the messages for Leo? What are the messages for Leo? The Emperor? What is the messages for Leo? What is the messages for Leo? What are the messages for Leo? What are the messages for Leo? Taking forever. What are the messages for Leo? What are the messages for Leo? We have the Sun card. What are the messages for Leo? What are the messages for Leo? Four of Pentacles.
King of Wands. And we have the King of Cups. All right, so what is the messages for Leo? Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups here, which is in the very middle. This, I believe, is the general energy, and it is about um, moving on from an old situation, wanting to move forward from where you are sitting stagnant and wanting more. All right, that is what I pick up from here. There's the Emperor card. And the Emperor card is taking control. You want to take control of the situation. You are a Leo. Here you are, the King of Wands. All right. This is a general reading. So this would be male or female. Someone who's a bold leader, power, charm, courage. This is a fire energy. You want it and you want it now. So is the Emperor. This is an Aries. This, this symbolizes the sign of Aries. Here's the Sun card. You want that material happiness a joyous outcome. This is the luckiest card in the deck. This is movement forward. It could be with this King of Cups, the which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, who tend to move a little bit slow. These guys are very tolerant. They're empathetic, but they're not very tuned into their feelings, which makes them feel a little bit, seem a little bit distant from the situation. Okay. You don't have, there's the moon card. So this card is saying that you do not have all the facts here, but you're trying to move this forward. There's the Scorpio. Or, oh no, this is the crab. Sorry, that's a crab. So it could be, a, that's a sign of cancer. All right. So it could be with the cancer person that you're dealing with, uh, a water sign person, even specifically a cancer. I know that this is a general reading. So, I mean, it could be anyone with these qualities. Okay. Um, but there's that new beginning you're looking for. There's the Ace of Pentacles. You wanting to create something. The Ace of Pentacles is beginnings. It's prosperity. It's like winning. You want to win. It's like you finding this, this stable relationship and you want security and contentment. So you want to leave the old ways behind. Okay. And there's a fear here. Somebody is scared, there's a desire for long-term security, and there is a fear of change. Someone is scared to change, and I feel like it's this, this person here, this Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, a water sign person. And it's like you're trying to nudge them along, but they're not, put, they're not moving. And they're not moving fast enough for you. I feel like your energies are moving so fast. You know what you want, you're sparky, you're moving forward. But you can't make it happen. It's like this guy's dragging his feet in, his mu in the mud. All right. You want that. There's the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles does talk about um, happiness, consolidation, family, marriage. Uh, it, it means it includes relationship commitment, marriage. It's about relationships, investing and maturing. And that's what you're looking for. You want that investment, that maturity. And it's like your hands are tied. You want to move forward from that. I believe that you will. Um, this person is stuck though. You have to wait on him. I feel like you do have to be the one that takes control here. Yeah, you know what? They're, they're scared of changing. So, you know, we have these two people here together, even though they're both males. Here's your energy beside their energy. And you want to take control. There's the emperor. You want to take control of the situation, but this person is not to be pushed. Yeah. You know, we've got the moon here, and it's just, you know, it, there's too much feelings involved. This person is, is, is um, very empathetic as well. And they have to kind of get out of their heads. They have to get out of their head, I feel. Once they get out of their head and there's that, that fear of changing, there's not much you can do about it. Four of Pentacles. They're, they want the security. They're scared. I feel like they're, they're, they're kind of stuck where they are. And they kind of like, they like to wallow in their feelings. 
they're just kind of like riding it out the way it is. Yeah, you want that change. You want that security. You want this to mature, this relationship to mature. You really kind of just want to walk away from the current situation and you want to change it. You just don't know how. And this person is not to be pushed. You don't have all the, you don't have all the facts here. By the light of the moon, you don't have all the facts. Yeah. See, this person is kind of looking this way towards happiness and, and they want that, you want that joyous outcome. You're looking ahead, out, you know, there's the moon again. Moon, 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 moon. There's, they're too structured. See, we have the Saturn here, which talks about structure. This is, this is learning lessons. They've got some lessons to learn before they can move forward. There's Saturn again right there. So you just don't really have, everything's kind of murky right now for you guys. You just don't really know which way to move forward. I just say leave it be until, until next month. Let them be. There's not much you can do for them right now. All right, let's see what Dorm Virtues Romance Angels have to say. What is the message for Leo? You know clearly what you want, but this person knows what they want, but something's holding them back. I think it's that fear. All right, calling, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. All right, you're calling in that soulmate. So this is about manifestation. Put it out into the universe what you want. The universe is unlimited. It really is. If you're putting fear out there, that's what you're going to get back. Okay? Put love out there and abundance. And um, that's what you're going to get back. Okay? Let's see what the Moonology Oracle cards say. What is the message for Leo? What is the message for Leo? What is the message for Leo? Message for Leo. What is the message for Leo? Leo. Oops. What is the message for Leo? What is the message for Leo? What is the message for Leo? All right. Have faith in your dreams. All right. Vis visualizations. All right, affirmations, have faith in your dreams, same thing, okay, look at how the moon, there's very little moon here, all right, which means that it's going to be less murky for you guys, so put it out there, put it out into the universe what you want, have faith in your dreams, have faith in this situation, all right. Okay, everybody, there you go. That is your reading for the month of December. I really hope that this resonates with you. And again, if you'd like to purchase a private reading, email me. I'll get back to you within 24 hours. Please subscribe if you haven't. You can also hit the bell icon and you will know every time I um, download a video. All right. Thank you for sharing, liking, subscribing, thumbs up, commenting. I truly appreciate it. Have a great month of December. Bye-bye.